Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Nick Tan Chats, my magic and mostly mentalism review show. My name is Nick Tan, and on today's episode, we'll be taking a look at Iris by Louis Duval, released at the 1914. So hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as always, a quick shout out to all my subscribers out there. Thank you guys so much for your support thus far. Your support is important to me and it really helps motivate me uh, to continue putting out these videos for you guys on YouTube. And of course, if you're not yet a subscriber, but uh, if you've been enjoying the content thus far, uh, please drop me a sub, all right? Subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the like button as well, all right? Those things really help me a lot. And before anything else, uh, I'd like to mention that uh, today's episode is actually sponsored by uh, The Fundamentals. Uh, the Fundamentals is actually a, an online magic store uh, based in Singapore. Some of you are wondering how is it possible that I managed to get my hands on uh, you know, products like so early, right? even before that they are you know, officially released. It's all because of the fundamentals, all right? Um, I don't know, they are, they are magic, okay? So if you'd like to be part of the fundamentals uh, to join their Facebook group, I will leave the link in the description box down below. So head on over to Facebook, join the group, and uh, enjoy browsing all the latest and greatest magic stuff. So I hope you guys have had a great week so far. Um, I've had a crazy week, you know, I've been really busy. Uh, I've been blessed with uh, a whole string of uh, virtual shows. I, I've just done, uh, completed a couple and I've got a couple more coming up as well. So, uh, you know, while live performances are not allowed yet in Singapore, uh, but I guess these virtual shows do give me a semblance of normalcy, all right? And it helps keep me going as well during this difficult time. So seeing as how I've had a busy week and uh, next week as well, you know, I thought at first I would give uh, this channel a break, all right? Uh, just for one or two weeks to focus on, on my shows. Then this came in the mail, all right? And then uh, I was immediately beckoned to uh, continue doing uh, another review video for you guys. So the 1914, right? Uh, D. Christopher and the 1914, um, you know, I really enjoy their branding, you know, and I like the stuff that they put out as well. Recent times, you know, uh, ever since working on this YouTube channel, I've also had the privilege of speaking to some of these creators directly. And, um, you know, I've had like one or two chats with D. Um, and, you know, he's been really friendly, you know, really um, generous with me. You know, he shared with me some future projects that are lined up. Uh, to be released at the 1914, all right? So uh, if those items get released, I think um, it'll be quite an exciting time. So uh, do keep your eyes open uh, and watch out for those things coming up. So another reason why I wanted to have a look at this is because uh, it's by Louis Laval, all right? And I am a huge Louis Laval fan, all right? Um, for the past couple of years, I think, since 2016, 2017, uh, when I first uh, got to know of him through the art of knowing, and of course, you know, ever since then, uh, getting to know the work of Louis Laval, I've probably, to date, I think, I've probably picked up every single thing that uh, Louis has released, from his, you know, his Whisper Tapes series to a whole bunch of other videos, and, you know, all his PDFs as well, you know, um, Book of Mirrors, uh, Pythia, Diary of a Travelling Man, uh, Witch Doctor, uh, Opia, you know, a whole bunch of, of his books in my, in my collection. And I think the way that uh, Louis Laval has inspired me to look at uh, mentalism, uh, my close-up mentalism at least, all right, he has shown me, you know, that it's important at least to, to put in the mystery back in mentalism, all right? Because, you know, many of us uh, tend to perform it like, you know, the very Darren Brownie kind of uh, influence suggestion based kind of presentations. And I really enjoy, you know, watching him uh, talk about mentalism. Uh, there's an air of mystery about him when he, when he speaks, when he performs. You know, even the way he introduces himself, you know, it just, it just sounds so cool, right? You know, he just goes like, Hello, my name is Louis Laval and this is Iris. <laughs> I'll probably cut that out, I don't know. But uh, let's get down to the review proper. So what is the effect for Iris? You know, there is a performance video that you can head on over to the 1914 website. Uh, you can watch a full performance video of the effect. You know, in a nutshell, basically, you will uh, use two cards and using those two cards, you can give a, a kind of like a reading, okay, to, to a spectator. Along the way, you are also able to reveal the spectator's uh, star sign. Uh, you can give the reading, you know, a little bit more time and then after that you can end the whole routine by eventually naming uh, the exact area that the spectator was thinking about. All this effect with nothing written down, no pre-show, no difficult memory work as well, alright? All you need are those two cards. So what do you get when you purchase Iris, alright? Again, uh, the 1914, 
their packaging is just so beautiful you know uh, it comes in this little folder just like that so inside this uh, folder all right you open it up uh, inside there is another envelope on the envelope uh, this one you will get uh, the links to the instructional video okay the instructional video runs for about uh, just over an hour i think an hour 10 minutes or so uh, on the video of course you will get to watch the full performance video after the performance uh, Lewis will take you through the method okay the method the handling he'll introduce uh, you the cards that are used for the routine he'll teach you how to use the cards to perform the whole routine he will also have a section on giving intuitive readings all right which I thought was uh, really great and it really is an important uh, segment in the whole uh, routine he will also give you some more ideas about how to perform the routine for for two people you know uh, using uh, a peak wallet as well and uh, inside this envelope okay you will get of course the two cards okay so that's what they look like two cards are inside I just felt like I'm using one of those new Tyvek envelope thingies, all right, which which I may review, you know, if I get sent a, a free review copy. Now there are two cards uh, involved in the routine. Uh, two cards meaning there are four sides. I will only show you uh, three of them, all right, because I think the fourth side is where like the method can be kind of worked out. You know, if you're a magician. You, you can have a look at the fourth side. Uh, in fact, I think on the website, okay, in the, in the trailer, in the full performance video, there is a shot of, of the full side of the card. I'm not going to show it here because I think many people are going to try and kind of, you know, figure it out uh, without um, buying it, okay? If that happens, I'd rather it not be from my channel. You know, if you're interested to see the full card, uh, head on over to the 1914. So you get these two cards. I'll talk about the cards individually. Uh, this first card, okay, uh, is one that has uh, four seasons. And under each of the seasons, there is uh, a little description about the characteristics of people that are born in that particular season. Uh, the second card, on one side, it contains the full zodiac. Okay, so all the 12 uh, zodiac signs are over there, the dates as well. And on the other side, uh, this is the side that I didn't, I don't want to show you guys, you know, too much of. But there are like some, there's some text on it, okay? These are actually the categories that you will let the spectator kind of look at and think of one particular category that uh, they want to have a reading from. So I'll just read out some of the categories uh, that you can, you know, see what people can choose. Um, they, they, you know, there are areas such as uh, health, money, uh, strength, spirituality, you know, different, different categories that most people would want some insight about if they had a kind of like a psychic reading. And uh, these cards can be examined, okay, can be examined, can be fully examined by a spectator. But, you know, I, I again, I don't want to show the cards here, you know, that side of the card exactly to you because most of you, you know, all of you, in fact, you will, you will have, you know, magic knowledge, right? So you would be looking at the card with the, you know, intent to look for method, okay? So it will not stand, withstand that kind of scrutiny. But if you were to hand this to a lay person, they're not going to find anything, okay, I think. So uh, that's it. Physically, that's all you will get with the package, you know, the, the packaging and the two cards themselves that you will use to perform the routine. Now, um, in the routine itself, there are like two main parts to the routine, right, in, in the method to get it to work. Uh, the first one of them, rather, is, um, is the method to kind of work out the spectator's star sign. And the other part of the method is to work out uh, which category the spectator is kind of thinking about. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the method to work out the spectator's uh, star sign, all right, their zodiac sign. This is, is kind of like a combination of, of ideas that I have seen before, but it is not uh, a progressive anagram. All right, so while there's no uh, progressive anagram involved, there is a little bit of, of, of this or, or this. Okay, that kind of a thing uh, to get you to the final star sign. But it happens really fast and it's really, really simple to perform. All right, the other part of the method uh, involves working out which category the, the spectator is thinking about. I mean, there are different, different categories. There are like 13 here, I, I believe. This part of the, of the, of the method, well, I will t I'll tell you, it, it is not new, okay? Most of you will already know this method in some form. Personally, from my own experience, you know, on my journey in mentalism, uh, the very first time I saw this kind of a method applied to something else other than what it was originally used for was back in 2006, you know, uh, with a product called uh, Kyoku, okay, that was released by 
uh, outlaw effects, right? In, sometime in 2005, 2006. And then there was uh, Powerball 60, all right, by Richard Sanders and Bill Abbott, uh, released sometime in 2009, I believe, thereabouts. And then along the way, there was um, Dreamweaver, okay, um, in 2012, I, I, I believe, all right? Uh, my memory may, may just fail me, uh, by Paul Canazzo. Uh, that being said, this is not the first time uh, Louis Laval has also used this kind of a method. You know, I think in 2017, 2018, two more releases of his uh, in PDFs, all right? Uh, something called Sign, and one more item called uh, Archetype as well. Sign is actually something that I have already set up in my phone. Okay, I, I can't say too much about that, but that is something that I can use to perform uh, a star sign revelation. Okay, so, um, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, well, the method is, is that, okay, but within the context of this routine and the presentation, I think it is quite well hidden, okay, the process is quite well motivated. The method to kind of cover the process that is involved using this card is justified by the the performance itself. You can see exactly what I mean uh, when you head on over and watch the full performance video uh, on the 1914 website. So again, a brief overview of the whole thing, all right? You will get the spectator to figure out certain aspects of, you know, when they are born, uh, and then they will choose a category that they want uh, to have a reading about, okay? So once they have those bits of information worked out, the two cards can, can go out of play. You don't need them anymore. So you will then start uh, by giving your reading. And the reading will be quite, you know, quite accurate, okay? Because again, remember, you already know the category that the spectator is interested in. So your reading will be quite accurate. Uh, Louis Laval does give you some techniques and you know ideas about how to deliver the reading. And it's a really important section. I, I strongly suggest if you get this, go and listen to what he has to say. It is exactly those things that he talks about that is the whole spirit about what has driven me to kind of explore this sort of mentalism a little bit more. So you will give your reading and depending on your skill level uh, in giving readings, this can be quite an engaging process, quite relevant for the spectator. Along the way, once you feel that you know things have kind of dipped slightly, you can then throw in a solid piece of information, right? Their star sign. And then from there, you can continue by giving a little bit more of a reading. And then even if the reading dips at the end of the whole thing, you have the reveal of the exact category that the spectator is thinking of. Okay, to, to fall back on, to bring the whole routine uh, to a satisfying closure. I think to me, mentalism, right? Mentalism to me at least, is that space in between knowing the information and before revealing some final thing between these two things, okay? This middle ground here is really where mentalism uh, lives and it, where it really is. So my, my thoughts on Iris, you know, I, I like it, okay? Uh, it's, it's definitely something I can see myself using, you know, that I can keep in my wallet. That being said, you know, um, you know, one of the plus points of this routine, I think, um, in the marketing is that you don't need to learn a progressive anagram to get the spectator's uh, star sign. But you know, I've been using you know a, a PA for for star sign for for many years. You know, I, I've got no problems using that. I'm quite comfortable with the one that I'm using. So in actual fact, I could theoretically perform the whole iris routine with only one card. I could literally just not use this particular one of the seasons, okay, this card, and just use you know the one with the list and get them to think about a category uh, that they want a reading about. And then along the way, in the middle, if I wanted to, I could uh, use the, the PA to get the, the star sign along the way. But you know, that being said, I would be comfortable enough to perform this routine without the star sign revelation. All right, uh, I think uh, just doing the readings portion with this part of the card uh, is, is kind of strong enough, I think. Another reason why I was contemplating kind of like not using this card is because the Four Seasons is not relevant to us here, you know, in Singapore. Uh, we only have one season, it's hot, okay? So this is something that doesn't resonate with the people here, I think, you know, even if you tell people like, you know, spring and autumn and things like that, people just don't, don't get it. Next, uh, earlier I mentioned uh, in a previous release of uh, Louis Laval, something called Sign. Using that concept, you could do away with both the cards together. You could just input this into your phone, 
All right, in fact, I have already done that. You know, I have already put uh, a version of Iris uh, in my phone, okay? So I don't need to use any of these cards. I could just perform uh, Iris using something on my phone, okay? I, I don't want to say too much about that because um, it is um, another product of Louis Laval's. But if you have Sign and if you have Iris, you, you will know exactly what to do. But you know, all in, I like Iris, you know, I think it's a very neat and well put together package. It really is a routine that gives you a framework to kind of practice giving readings, okay? So if you're really interested in, you know, this kind of mentalism where you give people readings and stuff like that, uh, and if, you are, if you've ever been like scared to fail, I think this is a perfect way to start and practice uh, giving readings. Because remember, along the way, in the middle of the routine, you have, you know, a star sign reveal to kind of up the impossible factor of the whole thing and then along the way if you dip again towards the end you can reveal the final thing right the category that they originally thought of so with those two kind of fail safes in in place i think this routine gives you a really nice framework to just go out and try giving readings and before i go today i'd also like to say that uh, the name iris actually strikes fear deep within the recesses of my heart uh, because Iris happens to be the name of my mother-in-law. She's never going to see this video, so I can say whatever I want. Alright, so that's all I have to say about uh, Iris by Louis Laval. Uh, so if you'd like to pick up a copy of Iris for yourself, I, I will leave a link uh, in the description box down below for the 1914. As always guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you got some value out of it. Um, take care, and I'll see you again next time on a future episode of Nick Tan Chats.